Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, record a quick uh, tutorial just to show you a really cool um, idea that Clark Marshall, thanks for the great idea on the Beaver Builder Facebook group yesterday, um, he asked a question of whether it would be possible to display Beaver Builder pages on your WP Admin page or your dashboard page with the shortcode. And of course that set my mind going and uh, between the two of us we managed to find a solution of how to do that. So I'm just going to show you exactly how to do that. So it's it's literally just one little bit of code and I'll post everything in the comments below this um, video for you. But in your functions.php you just need to obviously, um, if you haven't already, add the uh, widget text do shortcode function so that it will actually do shortcodes in your widget areas and the dashboard. And then there's this little code snippet which creates a custom dashboard. Uh, you literally just change the name of the dashboard there. And this is where you, you insert your uh, Beaver Builder shortcode. And it works beautifully. So on the dashboard, um, this is actually a Beaver Builder page that I've created, um, which is inserted in this dashboard area with a short code. So you can see I've been able to add a logo to it, headings, um, you know, put things in columns, place buttons here, embed my latest video tutorials for my clients to see. Um, you know, so the, I mean, you can format it like any page. Um, one other really cool thing I wanted to show you was I decided to use a modal pop-up box from the Beaver add-ons power pack. Um, so when I click on this, it actually opens up in a modal window. And I've been able to style that really coolly with, you know, um, typical backgrounds. And of course, I'm logged on to my site, so let me just log out on this machine. You wouldn't ordinarily see that. As a, as a client, obviously, but because I'm logged on in this machine, it's showing the menu. So my client doesn't see that menu, but obviously they see a really nice little pop-up form and they can fill it in and send the referral. The important bit is that this is actually a page that's hosted on my website. So on onedaywebs.com, not on the client's website. So it's a modal box to an external URL. Um, and in that external URL, I've set these up as pages with no header and footer with a full page row, with an embedded um, gravity form, headings, etc, etc, backgrounds and all of that good stuff. So right from within the dashboard, my clients can submit a support ticket, a testimonial or refer friends and it all just pops up in modal windows. One note is that there was a little bug where um, the modal window wasn't closing on the dashboard. I got hold of Panit at um, Beaver, Ad, Beaver Add-ons, the Power Pack um, authors and as usual he sent me a little fix which literally goes into your template file um, under layout uh, tools layout so in my little uh, dashboard widget I'll just show you where that goes and I'll also paste that in the um, description of this YouTube so that you've got the full solution if you do want to do something with a modal pop-up for your business um, so in my dashboard um, uh, template that I'm embedding in the um, dashboard widget area, you go to tools and layout CSS slash JavaScript and there's this little piece of code that uh, Panit sent me. It needs to be put in here rather than your global CSS settings because the global settings don't get loaded on your dashboard. Um, so this is a way to force them to get loaded and uh, that not loading is what causes your, um, your modal pop-up window not to be able to close. So those are the two little snippets of, of code that I'll send you guys and um, I just think it's a really cool use of um, Clark's idea. Thank you Clark again for the idea and um, I hope you guys can use it elsewhere on your websites. Enjoy!